The all-new Feast mobile app is here. Reflect daily with prayer devotionals. Watch the Feast series talks. Get to know our Catholic faith more with prayers and devotions. Pray on your own. Pray with a whole family. Pray with a Feast community. Be equipped in your service with our discipleship resources. Read and find wisdom for the different aspects of your life with our growth plans. Journal your thoughts and prayers and write your dreams. Let the Feast app be your spiritual companion, your daily motivation, and your safe space. Download the Feast app today. Feed your faith. Finally, the all-new Feast mobile app is here. Reflect daily with prayer devotionals. Watch the Feast series talks. Get to know our Catholic faith more with prayers and devotions. Pray on your own. Pray with a whole family. Pray with a Feast community. Be equipped in your service with our discipleship resources. Read and find wisdom for the different aspects of your life with our growth plans. Journal your thoughts and prayers and write your dreams. Let the Feast app be your spiritual companion, your daily motivation, and your safe space. Download the Feast app today. Feed your faith. Finally, the all-new Feast mobile app is here. Reflect daily with prayer devotionals. Watch the Feast series talks. Get to know our Catholic faith more with prayers and devotions. Pray on your own. Pray with a whole family. Pray with a feast community. Be equipped in your service with our discipleship resources. Read and find with And good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Please settle down. The Feast Valley Verde will begin in a few moments. Brothers and sisters, welcome home. To keep the solemnity of the Holy Mass, may we request all cell phones to be switched off or to be put in silent mode. For parents who brought their children, kindly attend to them while the Mass is ongoing. Thank you for your cooperation. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the celebration of the Holy Sacrifice of the Eucharist this second Sunday of Easter. Like the Apostle Thomas, we want to see clear signs of Jesus' victory over death and corruption. May the Lord open our eyes to the power of His resurrection 
and transform our doubts and fears into confident faith and boundless joy. This octave day of Easter is also Divine Mercy Sunday, promoted by St. Faustina Kowalska, whom Pope John Paul II canonized on April 30, year 2000, the devotion to the Divine Mercy is a perennial invitation for us to face with confidence in divine goodness the difficulties and trials of both the present and the future. Our priest presider for this Eucharistic celebration is Reverend Father Rupert Solis, SVD. Let us all rise and greet our Mass celebrant and let us glorify the Lord by singing the entrance song. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. People of God, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Father. Today, we celebrate the second Sunday of Easter. Every second Sunday of Easter, we also celebrate the Divine Mercy Sunday. This celebration reminds us of God's infinite goodness, of His everlasting love, and boundless mercy. To make ourselves less unworthy for this celebration, we pause for a moment and ask God's forgiveness for our sins. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we, for we have, have sinned, sinned against, against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. We glorify the Holy Triune God. Thank you. 
mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast, kindle the faith of the people you have made your own. Increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed, that all we grasp and rightly understand in what form they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the word. The first community of believers, though poor, is noted for its attitude of sharing. By the power of Jesus' resurrection, the followers of Christ are now of one heart and mind, sensitive to those in need. The first reading. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who own property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles. And they were distributed to each according to need. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love is everlasting. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love is everlasting. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, His mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love is everlasting. I was hard-pressed and was falling, but the Lord helped me. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. The joyful shout of victory in the tents of the just. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love is everlasting. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is a day the Lord has made. 
let us be glad and rejoice in it. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love is everlasting. A believer who holds that he or she is loved by God is inspired to love God in return. To keep God's commandments is a joy and not a burden. The second reading. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God, and everyone who loves the Father, loves also the one begotten by Him. In this way, we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey His commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep His commandments. And His commandments are not burdensome, for whoever is begotten by God conquers the world, and the victory that conquers the world is our faith. Who indeed is the victor over the world but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one that testifies, and the Spirit is truth. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise for the proclamation of the Holy Gospel. Because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not seen me, but still believe. with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, 
and bring your hand and put it into my side. And do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. Friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be, Please seated. be seated. People of God, good afternoon. And happy Easter. Happy Divine Mercy Sunday. God continues to offer us His merciful embrace. Even if we have become unfaithful, God continues to be faithful. As Pope Francis says, God does not get tired of forgiving. God does not get tired of loving. We are the ones who get tired of asking forgiveness. We try ourselves that we don't get tired of going back to the Lord and asking His mercy. Today's Gospel reading begins with an image of the disciples inside a locked room out of fear. Sisters and brothers, fear can be isolating. Fear can be a hindrance of our spiritual journey. Although the disciples, disciples' fear isolated them from others, it did not isolate them from Jesus. The locked doors may have kept others out in the lives of the disciples who were inside the room, but it could not keep the Lord out in their lives. The Gospel reading says, He came and stood among them. He came and stood in their midst. Sisters and brothers, the Lord's love for his disciples overcame their effort of self-isolation. The disciples may have run away from the Lord at the moment of his passion, at the moment of his suffering when he was on the cross. But the risen Lord did not run away from them. He stood in their midst. He stood there in all his risen power. And he gave them, he gave the disciples what they needed. And that is peace. That's why in the gospel, Jesus said, peace be with you three times. Sisters and brothers, the same risen Lord stands among us, stands in our midst, especially in those moments that we are at our lowest. The Lord stands among us, especially in those moments that we feel isolated, we feel vulnerable, when fear and anxiety overwhelm us. When we are down, we need people to stand by us. Stand by us means readiness to accompany us, to endure, to be there always. The reason Lord stands among us, especially when our human resources seem to be at their lowest. According to the Gospel reading, when the risen Lord stood among His disciples, He showed them His wounds. The risen Lord, the risen Jesus, is also the crucified one. And this reminds us that along the way, suffering and pain 
are part of our journey. He had earlier said to them, A man can have no greater love than to lay down his life for his friends. Jesus stands before his disciples as an expression of God's love. That is how the risen Lord stands among us today. He is in our means and he continues to show us his wounds that speak of his boundless love and mercy. Sisters and brothers, in today's gospel, the first words of Jesus, and he said it three times, peace be with you. Peace in the scripture, peace in the Bible, is not only the absence, it's not just the absence of war, it's not just the absence of conflict. It is the fullness of life, the harmony of body, heart, and mind, soul, and spirit. The risen Lord stands among us as the giver of peace in that sense. The Lord knows what the disciples needed, and the Lord knows what we need today, and that is peace, harmony of our heart, body, mind, and soul. If fear kept the disciples isolated, it was doubt that kept Thomas isolated. He was not with the other disciples when the risen Lord stood among them at first. He had broken with the community of disciples. Sisters and brothers, we can be tempted to do the same when our faith in the Lord and in community of follower, community of followers is at test or in test. Once again, Thomas Doubt could not isolate Jesus from, in, from communion, having communion with him. Once again, the risen Lord came and stood among them with Thomas present this time. He shows Thomas the wounds of his love, inviting him to touch them. And he gently issues an invitation to Thomas to be believing, not unbelieving. Doubt no longer, but believe. That's the invitation of Jesus to Thomas and to all of us. And we know that it is Thomas, the disciple, who makes the greatest confession of faith in the whole of John's gospel, saying, My Lord and my God. Sisters and brothers, we all have our own journey to the Lord, and the Lord has in own, his own ways to meet each one of us wherever we are and he offers us his peace in this celebration may once again we recognize jesus standing in our means to accompany us to give us the strength we need and to give us the peace we need to continue our journey. Like Thomas, may we profess our faith in him once again by saying, my Lord and my God. Please stand. We profess our faith. I believe in God, the, the, Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty creator, creator of heaven, heaven and earth, and, earth, and in Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, his only Son, our Lord, Lord who was, was conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, 
the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us turn to the Father, through our Lord Jesus Christ, who plunges us into the infinite ocean of His mercy that is greater than sin, evil, suffering, and death. In His loving mercy, we have victory, salvation, and eternal life. We pray and say, God of mercy, listen to our prayer. God of mercy, listen to our prayer. For the leaders of the church that, believing in and experiencing the Lord's infinite mercy, they may always proclaim it to God's people. We pray, God, God of mercy, mercy listen, listen to, to our, our prayer. prayer. For our local and national leaders that, like the apostles, they may attend to the needs of our communities and work for peace, unity, and progress. We pray, God, God of mercy, mercy listen, listen to our, our prayer. prayer. For those who, like Thomas, live in doubt and fear that peace and forgiveness of the risen Christ may strengthen them to face life's challenges and difficulties, we pray, God of, God of mercy, mercy, listen, listen to, to our, our prayer. prayer. For all of us gathered here, that we may be immersed in the ocean of divine mercy and live as ministers of our Lord's peace and reconciliation, we pray, God, God of mercy, mercy listen, listen to, to our, our prayer. prayer. For our departed brothers and sisters, may they experience the infinite mercy of God in the heavenly paradise, we pray, God of mercy, listen to our prayer. For the intention of our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for the month of April, we pray that the dignity and immense value of women be recognized in every culture, and for the end of discrimination that they may experience in different parts of the world, we pray, God of mercy, listen to our prayer. For the Feast Valle Verde, our district builder, feast builders, leaders, and servants, May we strongly unite towards making disciples according to the direction set by our original builders, aligned with Brother Bo's vision for the feast. We pray. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for the personal intentions of one another and all intentions offered in this Mass. We pray. God of mercy, listen to our prayer. God our Father, in Jesus you have shown us your boundless love and infinite mercy. Teach us to love you in return. Entrust our lives to your love and mercy. And serve you in our brothers and sisters. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We will now have the offering of the bread and wine, symbols of the fruit of our hard-earned labor of the week. Oh, 
sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept the Lord, we pray, the oblation of your people and those you have brought to new birth, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain an ending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to so acclaim you, Lord. But on this day above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people, exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers. With angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her into the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Milo our Bishop and all our bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. <laughs> Community as a family, we pray together the prayer that Jesus Himself has taught us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am, I am not, not worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say the word, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed.
For orderly communion, please be seated and wait for the ushers to guide you. Finally, the all-new Feast mobile app is here. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot, at this moment, receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. 
Confession is available at the Rosario Room right after the Mass. The feast will continue with a powerful worship and a life-changing talk after the Mass. Please stay with us and be blessed. May we call on all April birthday celebrants and couples celebrating their wedding anniversaries to please join us here in front so we can pray for you. Punta na kayo dito, yung mga April, April boys. April celebrants. April boys and girls. Okay. We raise our right hand and pray for God's blessing for those who are celebrating life and love this month of April. May the Lord continue to bless them, protect them, grant them good health, give them not only more years in their life, but more life in the years to come. Not only quantity of years, but quality of life. May also these uh, sons and daughters become instruments of God's mercy and love to others. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday yeah, yeah. once Happy again birthday. sa inyong lahat. And we praise and thank the Lord for sending Father Rupert for celebrating the Holy Mass with us. Thank you po, Father. Daming salamat din. Please all stand for the final blessing. Bow for the blessing. May God who by the resurrection, resurrection of His only begotten Son was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption give you gladness by His blessing. Amen. May He, by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs to eternal inheritance. Amen. And may you who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with Him in the homeland of heaven. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We have celebrated, go and announce the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia.
Valiaverde family, make some noise! Please be seated for a while and focus your attention on the screen in front. Calling all youth in the house, we invite you to our youth corner happening every week after a feast, where there are blessings, stories, and more. Feel free to bring your siblings, classmates, and friends who are youth too. See you there! Join the FBV Singles Ministry for safe space, a quick weekly quick get up together after the feast session to meet new people, interact with others, and talk about things. It's a safe space for everyone. The Singles hope to see you there. Help others strengthen their faith journey as you strengthen yours. Be a feast light planter and help someone get to know Jesus more. Scan the QR code on the screen to register for a feast light quick start or approach the feast light table near the entrance. To download our latest feast bulletin, you may scan the QR code on the screen. Thank you! Paul, 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 what did you write? The sins, the chains, the sorrow, the tragedy, and the story. We're breaking shackles, we're fixing discords, coast to coast, overseas, in the pain, above the rim, oh, we suffer, but didn't stop there. Pero bakit kasalanan ko? Parang kasalanan ko. We're timing in, we're on the switch, we in the hymn house, the real Jeezy, the Saints gang. Rhyme and dance and praising, singing. No breaks, no limits, he is calling. We on the stage, off life, flashing lights, camera, action. Fighting bad guys, loving bad guys, on the runway, doing his way. Taking off from the cross line, we in spirit on bars. Here we go! Speaking of bars, word for today. Are we loving thy neighbors now? The same. Jesus, favor follows us. 
When you chase Jesus, you are victorious. We have won the fight because God is here fighting for us. And so today, we can celebrate, we can shout, we can sing with confidence because God is alive. And we can sing, hallelujah, let's all sing the song.
praise your name, Lord God. Thank you for choosing us to be here. And now, let us all welcome our preacher for today, our dear daddy, Ahmed Cabrillo. God is a good God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And we give the Lord a big, 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 big shout of praise. Thank you, Jesus. Who among you feel great today? Raise your hand and make some noise. Who among you feel that your victory is coming in? Raise your hand and make some noise. St. Augustine said that we are an Easter people and hallelujah is our song. Tell the person beside you, hallelujah is my song. And tell the people around you, hallelujah is our song. And because of that, let's give a 10 second praise to God. Hallelujah. 10 seconds. Come on. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hallelujah. We will end today the series called Messy Saints. Are you enjoying the series? And what a way to end it because it's Easter season. I sense so much blessings coming in. I sense miracles. Parang damang dama ko na may mga himala magaganap sa atin. Talk number five speaks about uh, too spiritual, too, let, let's see the slide. <laughs> too spiritual, too sophisticated. Okay lang kung spiritual lang, right? Okay lang kung sophisticated. Tignan mo yung katabi mo. Ano kaya mas best describes that person? Spiritual or sophisticated? I'd rather both. Okay. Wag lang. Thank you. Wag lang. Two. Diba? Kaya sabi ng isang philosopher, uh, virtue lies in the middle. Pagka too spiritual, too sophisticated, dun tayo nagkaka-concern. So offer every prayer, offer every concern. We come before the presence of God in the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Raise up both hands in full surrender. Even if you don't pray for it, God is meeting you where you are. You will be traveling to a beautiful place and God is blessing you there. You will be having a vacation soon. God will meet you there. You will have promotion soon. God will see you there. You're, you have a challenge that you will be able to overcome and the better version of you is waiting there. And today, together, Lord, as a church, we pray, today I receive all of God's love for me. Today, I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I'm God's beloved. I'm God's servant. I'm God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world. In Jesus' name, and everyone will say, Give the Lord a big hand. Let us honor the word that transforms us. Ladies, sing. Can you kindly whisper something beautiful to the friend beside you? Whisper how beautiful that person's body is. Come on. Wow, oh, your body's so beautiful. Your body's so macho. I honor the six pack. All right. Bakit kaya natin yung ginawa? Because 1 Corinthians 6, 19 to 20 says, Eto na. Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit? Palakpakan ang temple na katabi mo. That body that you've just greeted is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Who is in you? Whom you have received from God? You are not your own. Akbayan ang katabi. Sabihin mo kahit sobrang ganda ng katawan mo. Hindi sa'yo yan. Para sa paglilingkod kay Lord yan. At para sa paglilingkod sa akin. Let's give the Lord a big hand, everybody. You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Let's read loudly the last line. Therefore, honor God with your bodies. 
Everybody who wants to honor God with your body, make some noise. Thank you, Jesus. Let's honor the word. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a Tell the person beside you, I need to say this to you. Every moment spent with you is a moment I treasure. And I don't want to miss a thing. Why don't you greet everyone around you? Here we go. Every moment spent with you is a moment I treasure. be seated now. I know it's peace by your birthday because people don't want to sit down. They just want to hug each other. Congratulations to the power couples for uh, their very successful financial seminar. Palakpakan ng ating mga couples! Sabi ng singles at youth, but wala kami dun? Actually, pwede kayo. But we're launching uh, special talks every so often to make you grow as a person. Alright? Napakahalaga ng ating discussion. To end this, let's summarize first uh, what happened in the last talks. Are you with me? Okay. The five problems in the current church or the church of the Corinthians. Kasi ang mga Corinthians are people from Corinth. Sabi mo sa katab mo, ah. Galatians, people from Galatia. Noranians, yun yung mga lola at tito natin na mahilig kay Nora o Nor. Sharonians, yun yung mga pag may natira-tirang pagkain sa party, sa seminar, binabalot nila. So the Corinthians, eto ang kanilang mga issue. Tell the person beside you, issue. Brother Obet, mula pa nung nag-start tayo, yung issue ng mga taga-Corinthians, parang issue sa office namin yan. That's the beauty of our discussion. Sige, isa-isay natin. The five problems. Number one, clicks instead of community. May mga taong expert na imbis na mag, mag let's bolt in, may mga taong expertong pag-away-awayin ang mga tao. Before I continue, I want to warn you, some of you are still employed. Some of you are in, so in, the, in the supervisory position or you're already the leader of your organization. Beware of this tendency. Tell the person beside you, Unang sumbong syndrome. Tanungin niyo ako ano yun? Ma magaling kang boss, magaling kang leader, pero the moment may nagsumbong na, no matter who that person is, or no matter how logical or illogical yung unang sinabi, isa sa mga weakness ng boss, take it from me, I'm an executive coach. So the things that brought them there won't bring them there. Diba? ba? Tendency minsan ng ibang tao, pag may una nang nagsumbong, yun ang pinaniniwalaan. Parang ganun yung katabi mo, sabi mo, ayan. Okay, yung pangalawa, hindi na natin pariringgan. Proud of sexual sin. Hindi ko nadidiscuss yan, ha? Kasi may mga tao, nag, lahat naman tayo, nagkamali, nagkasala, pero sana ito yung mga kasalanan, no? huwag mo nalang isi-share. May mga tao, lalo na inuman among male friends, Nagmamalaki kung, kung basta yung kanilang, ito, mga kasalanan ng ewan. Pag nagsama-sama nga ng mga lalaki, pasikatan kung ano mga scores nila eh. 
mga naiskuran nila. Number three, idol food. The, the presenting problem is just an idol food. Alam natin lahat na ang issue ay because of this small, tiny act, nagkakagulo-gulo sila. May mga tao kasing pinalalaki ang maliliit na bagay. Tabi mo sa katabi mo, sabi mo sa tabi mo, hashtag patola. ba? Diba? Si, si Ampalaya, wala na sa bahay kubo. Si Patola, muntik na. Number four, gifted yet decisive. Sayang yung galing, pero magkakahiwalay naman. Today, we will be discussing the fifth problem of the current church. Ito, ha, medyo theological, hindi na ito pagkwekwentuhan dun sa office nyo. Number five, some rejected bodily resurrection. Pero allow me to drink water first. Speaking about bodily resurrection, baka mamalat na ako eh. Let's drink. Ah, water is the best tubig in the world. Thank you, thank you, Prad. Ayun. May mga tao kasi, ang real belief natin, because Jesus Christ has risen from the dead, Yung kanyang buong katawan, the full essence of Jesus, body, soul, mind, and spirit, has risen from the dead. Amen? Ang mga taga Corinth, sabi lang, hindi. Spirito lang ang pwede. Doon tayo nagkakaproblema. Okay? I want to begin, I want to make this even my, my, uh, my battle cry statement or my one big message. Saint Irenaeus said that the glory of God is a human being fully alive. I want you to internalize the truth of this matter. Ang kalwalatian daw ng Diyos ay nasa isang taong buhay na buhay. I want to talk to your subconscious, my dear brothers and sisters. You know you're intelligent, right? No, ah, very good, ah. Gusto ko tong grupo nito. Yeah, actually. But have you ever noticed that our brains are like our cellular phones. According to Chismisology report, millennials hindi kasali, yung generation namin, only 5% of the full, full functionality of the cell phone is known by the person. Wala kayong idea how fully functional ang inyong cell phone. For example, uh, just a month ago, I realized itong iPhone pala and even other phones you go to photos, may kita kayo dyan eh, search. Tapos, ayan oh, may hinanap ako. Ayan, alimbawa, tinipe ko dyan. Search by word, dog. Lumabas yung mga dog pictures. Galing no? Meron palang word search ang, ang phone. And sometimes what we know is just text and send message and connect to messenger. Sabi mo, bulong mo sa katabi mo, ganun din yung utak mo. You have no idea, according to, to research, only 10% of the brain functionality is being used. Ang, ang pinaka malakas na among the mammals are dolphins. They could reach 20 to 30% brain capacity. That's why they can communicate from kilometers away with just radio waves. Sabihin natin sa katabi mo, wow. Ibig sabihin, Brother Robert, pagka... Finuli functional ko, utak ko, magkakausap tayo. Hindi, iba rin naman. Hindi naman tayo dolphin. Pero sayang. Sino dito? Okay, makinig ha, everybody. Sino dito, alam mong, nung estudyante ka pa, kung nag-aral ka pa ng todo, honor student ka, raise your hand. O, oh, kita mo? Kaya the glory of God is a human being fully alive. Lahat ng mga serve dito. Are you really serving with all your heart? I wanna... Speak about our humanity. Pag andito tayo, nauuna ba mga reklamo? May maupuan ba ako dyan? Sino naman itong mga taong to? Ayan na naman si Brother Obed. Hindi siya dressed for occasion. Pag nagsisimula ka ng mamintas, then you are being stolen by the not so good part of you. Because the glory of God is a human being fully alive. Place your hand over your heart. And I invite you to look up to heaven. And tell, tell our God, Lord, starting today and for the rest of my life, grant me the grace to be fully alive by being fully human and living to the fullest 
of my human faculties. In Jesus' name, if you know that the Lord will bless you, make some noise. Hallelujah. Diba? Oh, yan ba fully, fully alive na yung palakpak na yan? Yan! I was meeting with my students yesterday. I told them that, th that their finals is a take-home exam. I'm a very kind professor. And I told them, okay, let's smile because this will be the last meeting. I don't want to take away so much of your time. I want you to, to compose your, your finals. Ire-record nila yung kanilang final report. Tapos yung mga ngiti nila, sabi ko, minsan nga lang kayo mabukas ng video. Kasi online professor ako, because the school where I'm teaching is, is in mapalakat pa. Anyways, sabi ko, may I see the smile of people who, who believe that they will get the best grade that I can give? Bukong ngiti yan nila talagang pang-scholar. ba? Kaya pag nagpapapicture ka, Yun daw ang secret. Ah, may tuturo ako sa mga... May mga artist dito eh. Tsaka may mga nasa um, uh, photography business and so on. Alam niyo the secret to the best smile is not really good looks. The ex factor is coming from how you communicate what's inside through your eyes and through your face. The secret is you whisper the word, I love you, when you smile. Whisper. I love you. Huwag kang gaganon. Whisper lang. Yun. Balikan natin mga taga-Corinthians. For this group of people, the idea of bodily resurrection was just embarrassing. Hindi nila matanggap na may bodily recollection. Recollection? Resurrection. Parang nai-scandalize sila. Kasi pag may bodily recollection, ako na recollection, resurrection, parang mga zombie na babangon daw ang tao, hindi nila magets. Anong sabi ni... Pero... Ang galing, ang talino talaga ni St. Paul, one of the most brilliant saints that you will ever encounter is St. Paul. 1 Corinthians 15, 3-4 would say, For I handed on to you as of first importance what I, what I in turn had received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the Scripture, and that He was buried, sabi mo sa katab mo, buried, and that He was raised on the third day in accordance with the Scripture. So katawan siyang inilibing sa isang hiram na kweba at bumangon din siya fully human, fully bodily resurrection. To Paul, Easter Sunday was not just a pretty metaphor or an inspiring symbol. Easter was a historic event. So hindi siya symbolism lang. Jesus Christ raised from the dead at ibang-iba ang kanyang resurrected body. Una, Hindi siya nakikilala. ba? Kung close kayo ni Lord, matagal kayo nagsama, but hindi nakilala ni nung dalawang alagad, si Cleopas at isang walang pangalan na alagad, ba't di nila nakilala si Jesus? ba? Nung nagluto siya ng fish barbecue sa may beach at sinabi niya, Children, have you got something to eat? Throw your nets. Magbe-backslide na sana sila sa St. Peter. Bakit hindi nakikilala si Jesus? Naalala ko tuloy yung lumang kanta ng simbahan. Kristo, Kristo, bakit minsan ka lang nakikilala kapag nakadama ng dusa? Merong part ng theology ng tawag nila ay Deus Absconditus. Pakisabi nga yun. At least when you come home, merong kang, anong tin tinuro ni Brother Obed sa Deus Absconditus. Ang just daw, mahilig makipag-hide and sick. Nagikipagtaguan. Sino dito nakapaglaro na ng taguampong ng bata? Tapos nagtago ka, tapos walang humanap sa'yo. Bad trip nangyari sa akin yan. Eh. Hanggang gabi na, andun pa ako sa box. Hinika na ako. Hindi ako hinahanap ng mga kapatid ko. Kasi kami lang magkakapatid. Game na eh. Walo kami. Pang-anim ako. Anyway, 1 Corinthians 15, 5-7 would say, and that he appeared, o oh, kita nyo ha, yung resurrected body nagpakita kay Cephas, whose Aramaic name was, uh, Greek name was Peter, then to the twelve, then he appeared to more than 500 brothers and sisters at one time, most of whom are still alive. May tanong sa mga theologians, bakit si Jesus hindi nagpakita kay Poncho Pilato? Kay Caiaphas? Nga naman. Ba't siya nagpakita sa mga taong naniniwala na? Ask me why. Because there are people who are obstinate, sobrang tigas ng ulo, 
that no amount of physical resurrection or the moment they see Jesus, walang magbabago. But to those who have faith, it will be edified. Akbayan ng katabi. Sabi mo, sa'yo magpapakita si Lord ng kanyang himala at kalwalatian. Give the Lord a big hand, everybody. Though some have died, then he appeared to James, then to all the apostles. The problem today is that we see heaven as a place for souls. We never talk about the resurrection of our bodies. Gusto niyo pag-usapan to? Gusto ko makarating sa langit. Sa langit ang ating tagpuan. Tapos meron tayo mga dinadramatize. Ay, yung mga pelikula ng mga lovers na namamatay. Don Solueta, Richard Gomez, yung magpapanag po sila. Magtatagpo tayo sa langit. Yung magkikita sila sa langit. Tapos ito Don Solueta, paikot-ikot na ganyan. Ah, uh, how true is that? Is that heaven? May nakakwent, buti na lang may nakakwentuhan akong abot. Ano ibig sabihin ng abot? Siya yung head ng abi. Because, Brother Obet, before I got married to Mommy Joy, very few of you would know, nag-search in po ako sa Gimaras Island, sa Trappist Monastery. One last shot. Kung pari ba ako o magiging tatay. So, ganun ka generous si Mami Joy. She allowed me. Palibasa sa puso niya, alam niyang hindi ako kayang iwan nito. At ang sabi nung abot doon, uh, everybody sabi niya, during a resurrected body, tayo daw, a resurrected body would look like, are you ready for this? Sit, sit well. Sit up straight. Your resurrected body will become the best version of yourself. The full bloom of your human faculty. Sa mga lalaki, you're forever 21 years old. Oh my gosh. Napapangiti ko si Brother Bobby dun ah. Forever 21. At yung mga kababaihan, are you ready for this? You will be forever 18. Interpretation na lang yan ng monk, ng theological truths. Because you know, priests must convert the theological truths which are difficult to understand Two ways we could understand. Given that, are you excited for heaven? Kaya pala, inconvenient dito sa lupa ng podot. ba Sa mga Ilocano. Sobrang init. Naka number four na ang iyong level doon sa sasakyan mo. Mainit pa rin. The Lord intentionally made this life uncomfortable so that you will long for heaven more. Akbayan ang katabi. Sabi mo, napansin mo ako, good looking, di ba? Comfortable, blessed. Tapos bulo mo sa kanya, wala pa yan. Pagdating sa langit, small time pa to. Let's give the Lord a big hand. Heaven is for real. Resurrected body. Ina, mayroon ako yung kwento, pero i-reserve ko mamaya na lang eh. Tingnan mo, kung hindi totoo ang resurrection of the body, bakit sa ating uh, Apostles' Creed, I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, bawat isang line nito, isang semestre pinag-aaralan ng mga kaparian. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body. So wow, ano kayang klaseng body ang meron tayo? I- I- lalabas ko sa inyo yung issue ng mga taga current This belief impacts three behaviors. Number one, why care for my body? It's just a shell. Ayan, dyan tayo nakakakonek. Buti may doktor dito. Eh, langit na may ating tagpuan eh. Di, ano na lang ako? Kain, kain hanggang kain. Pag, pag gusto ko matulog, dun pa lang. Heaven naman eh. It's not about the length of your life. It's a... Qu- my dear friends, life is stewardship. Sabi ni Khalil Hibran, hindi sa'yo ang katauhang yan. Hiram lang. Align sa Bible, no? Tapos sabi niya, parents, your children are not yours. Yun lang huwag mo sasabihin sa asawa mo pag uwi mo mamaya. Anong tinuro ni Brother Obet? Your children are not yours. Baka mag-away kayo. Wala tayo may tuturing. So, itong katawan na to, pahiram lang sa'yo ni Lord. At sabi ni Socrates, it is a shame, sana si Robbie, it is a shame for a man not to see 
the full beauty and potency of his body in his entire lifetime. Oh, depende sa edad mo. Tanong, nakita mo ba yung full capacity at full beauty and glory of your body? Ako, every time I see Rob, I remember my my teenage years. Yun nga lang, si Robby, ginagamit siya sa kabutihan, ako sa kasamaan. Pero hindi ako papayag. Kahit 50 yung uno na ako, dapat I give health a good chance. Sabi ng mga umaten ngayon, ba't ba ako naka-attend ngayon? Akbayan ang katabi. Sabi mo, marami pa tayong gagawin para kay Lord. Alagaan mo katawan mo. Let's give the Lord a big hand. Hindi lang siya container. How will the dead body, sabi sa 1 Corinthians 15, 35, 36, and 42, how will the dead be raised? What kind of bodies will they have? What a foolish question. When you put a seed, ayan ha, when you put a seed into the ground, it doesn't grow into a plant unless it dies first. So also in the resurrection of the dead, it is so incorruptible, it is raised incorruptible. Dati, malaking issue ng simbahang katoliko kung ia-approve ba ang ang, ano ba to? Ang cremation. Can I, can I speak an Arab joke? Please, balya naman tayo, di ba? Nakarecord nga lang tayo. Kaibigan ko naman yung mga taga-sanuan. Kasi may pinuntahan daw na libing dati sila Arab. Nakaganon daw si Arab dun sa ano. Ah, hindi. Uh, nagmamandali daw si Arab umalis. Sabi ni Jingoy, pa, Kakarating lang natin. Bilisan mo. Bilisan mo. Alis na tayo. Pa, bakit? Nung nakaalis na sila. Ba't pa tayo umalis ka agad? Kararating lang. Hindi mo nakita. Remains shall be cremated. Uy, joke yun. Kala nyo pag nag-iwi, eh, nagpaiwan ka, eh, cremate ka. Dati, issue sa simbahan na yung cremation. Kayo, hindi kayo sanay na corny yung joke ko. Gusto nyo, ah! Trinay ko na dati, Bo Sanchez jokes eh. Hindi, hindi ko magat eh. Anyways, friends, in ng simbahan kasi nga, in some mysterious way, tulad kagabi, nanonood ako ng Sisu, yung Finnish warrior, na pag genera, nagkakahiwaiwal, nakakalasog-lasog ang katawan. Pero in some mysterious way, ia-assemble ni Lord yung katawan mo. Cremated, not cremated, sumabog. Assemble ni Lord at the resurrection of the dead. Wow! It was so dishonorable. It is raised glorious. Wow! Who among you are imagining anong itsura ko sa langit? Naks naman! Bibigyan ko ng limang segundo. Magkwentuhan kayo ng katabi. Ano kayang itsura natin sa langit? Oh, lahat daw daw perfect. Hindi langit yun pag hindi perfect. Lahat tayo mukhang artista. Siguro 6'5 yung height ko dun. OMG! Okay, let's continue. It is raised powerful. It is so natural body. It is raised spiritual body. If there's a natural body, there is also a spiritual one. So too, it is written, the first man, Adam, became a living being. The last, Adam, a life-giving spirit. Ayan na. Alam ninyo, the verses in the Bible... Change me to the person that I am today. But even the quotes about God could redirect your life. At isa sa mga nagpabago ng buhay ko, next to the Bible, is a quote from Pierre Telhard de Chardin. If you have seen the interview of Tony with me, she quoted that. Pierre Telhard de Chardin. At ang sabi niya, we are not human beings having a spiritual experience. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. Ang katotohanan ay spiri, spiritual being ka talaga. Yes? Huwag kang magpalimita sa katawan mo. Kailangan maalipin ng spirito mo yung iyong katawan. Huwag mong sabihin na, wala eh, tao lang. Huwag ganun, marupok. Dapat yung spiritualidad natin ang manguna. Siya nagdadala sa ating spiritual life. You get what I'm saying? But the spiritual was not first. Rather, the natural and then the spiritual. Amen? Place your hand over your heart and say this with me, Lord, because I rediscovered 
that I'm a spiritual being, I will make it a priority to nurture and take care of my spiritual health while taking care of my physical health too, which is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Palakpakan natin si Lord. Oo. Alam niyo ba ninyo na may tinatawag na hedonistic culture? Hedonistic culture yung eat, drink, and be merry for tomorrow we die. No, no. We are here on planet Earth to make significance, to create an impact. Sayang naman pinanganak pa tayo nang hindi tayo magkakaroon ng blessing sa kapwa. Amen? Number two. Dahil nga spiritual, naging over-spiritual ang mga Corinthians eh. Why help the poor? It's the soul that matters. So pag sinabi nila ito, parang pabayaan mo na mga matay ang mga may hirap na yan. Kaluluwa naman mahalaga. Sabi sa 1 Corinthians 12, 25-26, there, there should be no division in the body, but the part should have equal concern for each other. If one part suffer, all the parts suffer with it. Oo. Hindi pwedeng mahal mo si Lord tapos hindi mo mahal ang mga paborito ng Diyos. Pero, Obet, tama ba narinig ko may paborito ang Diyos? Tanungin niyo ako, sino? The orphans. Kaya I'm, I'm so proud of Peace Valley Verde. We have around 10 uh, adoptive families in this spiritual home. Palakpakan natin si Lord. Pagkatabi mo yung adoptive family, palakpakan mo siya. I think Pat Prius is here. Diba? Nakaka-bless eh. God is good. Diba? So, gusto ng Diyos na nagtutulungan tayo. Tinutulungan, tinutulungan natin ang mga maralita, paborito ni Lord. Isa pa, mga biyuda, paborito ng Diyos. Ah, palakpakan ang mga biyuda! Orphans, elderly, palakpakan mga elderly. Kaya ang paboritong ministry namin ni Mami Joy, anawim. The abandoned. Kaya I have a principle to share. And let this rock your spiritual life. Kapag hindi ka nag agri dito, I'm okay that you challenge me. I'm okay that you don't believe it yet. I prophesy one of these days. This will make sense. The principle is, genuine spirituality leads to love for the poor. Bali, wala lahat ng pagpapayaman, kasikatan, pagsusumikap, preach ka ng preach, serve ka ng serve, without love for the poor. But I want to warn you, toxic ang mga poor. Minsan tinutulungan mo na, yan lang ba, bibigay mo. Like yung, nakausap ko yung mga ministers o yung mga nagpapari sa tuloy, programa ng Don Bosco, pinapatuloy talaga ng mga street kids. Paglabas, mga nandugas na ng mga gamit nila. Tuloy pa rin ba yung programa? Tuloy! God loves the poor and we must be an extension of that. At sabi ni, ni Mother Teresa, Saint Mother Teresa, huwag ka na daw lalayo. There are some indigents who are dwelling in your home. Mga taong, dalawa daw ang klase ng mga beggars. Mga gulagulanit ang damit sa kalye. At mga gulagulanit na puso sa loob ng bahay mo. Baka ang galing-galing natin mag-serve, meron tayong hindi pinapansin sa bahay natin. But oh, bet, aso lang naman di ko pinapansin. Parang ako nagtatampo ko kay Hansel. Inangilan ba naman, tsaka muntik na niya ako makagat? Tatampo-tampo. Magsasorry ako mamaya, huwag kayo mag-alala. Diba? True spirituality leads to love for the poor. As I preach this, I know what's happening in your mind. Sino kaya ang pwedeng tulungan? Yung katabi mo, sinisiko ka. Uy, poor ako. Poor. Poor. Tulungan mo ako. Sige. Kung sinong ilid sa'yo na quote-unquote poor. Because the spiritual poor literally means anawim. Spiritual poor and the real, real, real poor are anawim. Yun ang tawag in Aramaic, in Hebrew. Number three. Why excel Bakit ka pa nagpapakadalubasa, brother? Mangangamatay din naman tayo. <laughs> May mga tao kasi nasaktan lang. Ayaw na magsumikap. Na broken heart lang. Ayaw na mangarap. Nasaktan. Galit na galit ang mga lola. 
sa mga single kapag kumakanta sila ng kahit na niloloko mo lang ako. Sabi ng isang lola, ano ba namang mga kanta yan? Noong panahon namin, walang ganyan, nagpapakabaliw para sa pag-ibig. Well, lola, iba rin ang kanta nyo dati. Sila naman na, 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 na broken heart lang, gustong gunawin ng mundo. And I'm gonna prove it. Game? Kung kahit na niloloko mo lang ako, yun ang kanta ng mga kabataan ngayon. Nung panahon ng mga lola natin, ganito sila pag nainlove. Why does the sun go on shining? Why does the sea rush to shore? Okay pa yung buhay eh. Ito ang nangyari. Don't they know it's the end of the world? Oh, ginunaw ang mundo. It ended when you said. Nakita mo yan? Why excel in early matters? It will all vanish. Pakiulit sa katabi, light is a stewardship. Kaya kung matalino ka, magpakadalubhasa ka, kung magaling ka sa arts, magpaint ka, use your artistic faculties, never set a single day without improving. Because the biggest room in the world is the room for improvement. Sayang ang talino na hindi ginagamit. May... Ang pinakamasarap kausap tungkol sa lahat ng bagay sa mundo, mga barbero. Dapat profesor sila. Pero ang galing lahat alam. Sabi ko nga minsan, Yuri Gagarin. Sasabihin ko yung Yuri Gagarin. Tingnan ko kung alam nila. Pasok ko, Brother Robert, anong pinagkakabalan mo? Uh, may nabasa ako tungkol kay Yuri Gagarin. Oh, kamag-anak ko yan! Ang bira. Cosmonaut daw yung lolo niya. Anyway, 1 Corinthians 9 verse 8. This is life. Moreover, God is able to make every grace abundant for you so that in all things, always having all you need, you may have an abundance for every work. Mga mayayaman dito, sa Feast Valley Verde, ayaw umami ng mga milyonaryo at milyonarya. Kaya kayo pinayaman ni Lord para tulungan nyo may hirap at tulungan tong feast na to. Wala nang iba. Palakpakan na mayayaman. Tingnan ng katabi. Kasi yung katabi mo, payaman pa lang. Oh! <laughs> okay. Para saan pa yung pag... Baka naman pag yumaman na, nagkakalimutan na. Kasi pag ang sahod mo, 50,000 a month, ang sarap mag Because the 10% of 50,000 would be, eh paano kung 80 mil na? Eh meron dito, 800,000 a month. Oh yeah. Diba tayo, nagkukuripot na. Parang ang dami. Lugi ko, Lord. Nagsabi sa'yo. Ang para kay Lord ay para kay Lord. But ito, get ready. Philippians 3. Brother Obed, kala ko ba Corinthians? This is a supporting verse. Philippians 3, 20 to 21 will say, But our citizenship is in heaven. So hindi ka lang Pilipino. Ikaw ay heaven dweller. Wow! Panglangit ka. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, hindi ka pang lupa. Panglangit ka. The Lord Jesus Christ, He will change your lowly body to conform with His glorified body by the power that enables Him also to bring all things into subjection to Himself. God is good. Amen? The underlying message is this. Virtue lies in the middle. As your spirituality increase, ang epekto, inaalagaan mo rin yung pagkatao mo. Inaalagaan mo rin yung finances mo, inaalagaan mo rin mga relationship mo. Yun ang dahilan, ba't ko sinulat yung balance is power? Kasi hindi pwedeng spirituality mo lang ang nag increase Dapat lahat ng bahagi sa buhay mo. Everybody stand up. Kasi meron dito nakaka-intrigang, nakaka-intrigang verses na ginagamit ng ating mga kaibigan who are born again. We, we also believe it this one. 1 Thessalonians 4.16 Ayan na. Pag dumating si Lord, ito ang mangyayari. Ayan na, open notes na. For the Lord Himself 
with a word of command, with a voice of an archangel, and with a trumpet of God, will come down from heaven, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Pagka dumating na ang paghuhukom, lahat na mga napag-una na sa atin, tatawaging muli ng Panginoon. Let's say, ngayon mangyari yun. <laughs> Sabi ng iba, o oh, sige, hindi ngayon. May mga kumontro, may mga gumanon sa akin. Okay, hindi ngayon. Pag nangyari yun, yung mga nangamatay na, pupunta kay Lord. Eh ano mangyayari sa ating mga nabubuhay? Wow! Do you wanna know? Then we, who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Thus, we shall always be with the Lord. Body, mind, soul, spirit, babalik sa Diyos. Yung mga noon pa namatay, Brother Obeti, babalik ni Lord yung katawan nila, yes. Magpapakita tayo with our, with our resurrected body. We're gonna worship the Lord, but I'm gonna be sharing with you a weird story. It's up to you to believe it, but it actually happened to us. Are you ready? You know my children, Rob, my son, turning 20 on May 30, and Reese, my daughter, turning 15 on July 7. But before Rob, we lost a child. Before Reese, we lost a child. Kaya, ganun na lang kami ka-OA ng mga parents because we know the pain of loss. Hindi ko nakayanan yung ano, ewan ko, narinig na, ni, naalala pa ni Mami Joy ito. Hindi ko talaga kaya yung nung una kaming nawalan. It was a miscarriage. I was in the Blessed Sacrament of Our Lady of Grace Church. It is, alam mo yung masama ang loob mo pero hindi ka makatanong kay, kay Lord na, bakit Lord? Ang, ang sum, sumasambulat lang sa bibig ko. Gusto ko lang na maging tatay, Lord. Gusto ko lang na maging tatay. Sabi ko, bakit doon sa ano? Doon sa agham. Pagdadrive ako, yung bawal yung baog na dami-dami mga bata. Ba't ako, yung, yung puso ko, ba't ako wala? Ba't ako wala, Lord? Gusto ko lang maging tatay. I just wanna be a loving dad. Alam niya, I was in the Blessed Sacrament. I don't know if I slept. I don't know if it was a vision, but I saw a vision of clouds and the feeling was so good and there are angels around and then I feel like I'm being directed to walk up front. Lakad ako. Ang sarap ng pakiramdam. Yes, I think I'm seeing heaven in the Blessed Sacrament. But as I turn, I just felt that I have to turn to the right. And when I turn to the right, there's one handsome, tall, good-looking, light-colored, medyo may hawik ko, pero syempre malayo. And you know what that being told me? Sabi niya, Dad! And then he embraced me. And then I woke up crying. Could it be my son? I don't know. The spirit of my son? I don't know. But, but I think heaven is for real. Mula no na-capture ko yung moment na yon, I realized that I will never be motivated by worldly things. Puede, pero it's just temporary. We're not for here. We are to go. And when you worship the Lord, today and every Sunday and every day of your life, it's just touching the presence of God. Being familiar with the presence of God where we will live forever and ever. Don't be afraid of heaven, my dear friends. Here on planet Earth, we're just trying to live out our real identity. Let's worship the Lord, my dear friends, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Father, thank you for dying for us. Now we live for you. Jesus. Lord God, we offer our whole bodies, our souls to you. Because you have done the same. 
You've offered your whole body and soul for us. When you died on the cross for us, we did not deserve this grace, but you willingly gave everything. And so, Jesus, we want to respond to your expression of love at the Calvary. Today, we decide that we are yours and you are mine. You are ours, Lord. Mind, body, and soul. And so, brothers and sisters, I invite you to just feel God's presence here in this place. Feel Jesus in this place. And offer Him your everything. Your hopes, your plans, your dreams, all that you are. Because we are created for Jesus, and Jesus is for us. And so if you are comfortable, give it your all. Lift your hand. Sing every, every lyric as if it's a love song to Jesus who died for you. And so let's sing this song with all our hearts. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Lost and created to the stash of love. But yes. You're greater than my failures and all of my faults. Yes, oh God. You're God. You are sovereign. And I lose control of you. You are strong. Whenever I fall, you are higher. You're Lord above all. You are greater. In my weakness, you still call me home. Yes, Lord. Thank you for your grace. God, you have seen me in my darkest days. Thank you for choosing us, O oh Lord. Found in your love and I'm saved by your grace. You're my God. Come on. Sing it to Jesus. God, you are so. When I lose control, you are stronger. Whenever I fall, you are higher. You Lord above all, you are greater. In my weakness, you still call me for calling us yours. All of my your hopes and dreams. All of it's yours. All of it's yours. Come on. All of my victories and all of my plans. All of it's yours. All of it's yours. Another for Jesus. All of my hopes and all of my dreams, all of it's yours, all of it's yours, all of my victories and all of my plans, all of it's yours, all of it's everything yours. is yours, oh Jesus. All of my heart and all of my soul, God, I am yours. Forever I'm yours, all that I am now, and all that I'll be, God, I am yours, forever I'm yours, made to be yours, forever I'm yours, all of my heart, and all of my soul, over into 
Jesus. He deserves your everything. He died for you. He gave you everything that he had. When he died on the cross, he loves you. I would like to declare a daring declaration and proclamation. When our born-again brothers and sisters would say that they are saved, it's for real. So Catholics, the moment you receive Jesus Christ in your hearts, claim that you are already saved. Heaven is for you. I think that deserves a big round of applause. Declare that in your mind. I am saved. Say that. I am saved. I am saved. I am for heaven. I am but we, before we pray for our dreams, I am doing the formation for, for the light group heads of Anuim. And as I prepare in one of the reflections, I stop. Because it says in one of our principles, in, in one of our 21 core beliefs, that it's not about life, Christian life is not about going to heaven look we just claim it we will go to heaven right I don't know about you but I belong to heaven but it's not about that ask me what listen to from your heart from your soul Christian life is not about going to heaven it's about bringing heaven to those who are experiencing hell here on earth. Amen. That's one of our principles. Make it your mission today to be a conduit, to be a channel, to be, to be a flowing grace where people who are experiencing hell of brokenness, of depression, of giving up, of being abandoned, of being neglected, your worship leader once upon a time was that kind of a person. But the Lord worked through Erica. Once upon a time, she was about to give up. That's your mission, my dear friends. It's not about just going to heaven. It's bringing heaven to people, especially, especially the ones who are going to hell. I want you to raise up your hands. We'll be praying for our dreams. And in fulfilling those dreams, we need to act on our mission. And it is our mission to bring heaven to people's heart. Say this with me. One of these days, One Lord, this day. as I do my mission, as I do my mission, to bring a resurrected body, to bring a resurrected body of hope, love, and grace, of hope, love, and grace to as many people as possible. To as many people as possible. Until until one of these days, one of these days all, my dreams all my dreams will come true, will come true. In, Jesus name. in Jesus name give the Lord a shout of God you are so
God speak to you today? Amen. Before you sit down, approach somebody and tell that person, in case you need my help, in case you need my help just approach me and I will help you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. God is a good man. You may be seated now. Ay, nako, what a way to end the series. Bigla na pa question mark yung marami. Bakit ano nangyari kay e Ikay? <laughs> Erica, Erica, ay Ikay, you can use my microphone. Erica is like a daughter to me, to me and Mommy Joy. Yes. We we saw her Sorry, in her lowest Woo! moment. Praise God. Erica was a suicidal before. And, praise be to God. But praise be to God. She was brought to the feast. Worship God like never before. And look at her oh, now. She God. is blessing a lot of people. She is the HR head of the Light of Jesus family. Oh, and, glory to God. And of course, kailangan ko sabihin, Sister Joy, my angel, who saw me at my weakest my rock bottom so angel could in she's my angel <laughs> angel can i bring you home ah <laughs> god ay salamat Woo! si erica happy easter everyone ayan wala problema sa announcement ay <laughs> obet ka brilliant daw so jewels Jewel be comes... joyful joyful inviting all women join the be joyful jewels chat time wow, on april at... 26 friday from 8 pm to 10 pm and my angel is there. <laughs> Ayan. Please join us on April 26. Again, Ganda. Friday, 8 to 10 p.m. This is via Zoom. So it's, and it's Sister easy. Joy Cabrillas will be your Woo! speaker. Can we join give her a big, big John. hand? Wow. But kaya ganun. Ha honey ko na, wife ko na, pero crush ko pa rin, tsaka in love na in love pa rin. Yep. Register now via the bit.ly slash jewels be joyful or via the QR code flash on the screen. The first 50 participants will get a chance to win exciting raffle prizes. Save the day, beautiful sisters, and make sure you invite other women to join so they can be blessed. Okay, wait. Yung sa 50 na yon, yung pang 7, yung pang 7, Pakisabi sa akin kung sino. Kasi yung husband ni Mommy Joy, nangako na yung pang seven, seven is the favorite number of Mommy Joy, bibigyan ko siya ng uh, Joyful Wellness Spa Treat. Kasi may, may spa si Mommy Joy. Try ko na yan. Ako ang bahala doon sa mga papagawa mo. Yes. I will sponsor So join that. us at Jewels. Of course, we want to say hi to all our first-time attendees. Woo! Sino pong mga nagdala ng friends? Families, co-workers. Oh, ah. All right. Any first timers? Any first time attendees? Shy please? pa sila. Pwede Ayan tumayo. o, nakikita ko meron lang shy. We wait, want to pray wait, for you. Ma, ikaw first time ka. First time ka. Wait, wait, wait. Huwag may iya. Wow, can we yes! give them a big hand? Wow. Thank you for coming. So can we pray for you? Just, just stand up. So we want to pray for the first time attendees yes. in the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Dear God, thank you for people who just attended today, whether they stand up or not. We want to give them a special gift. They may approach the table at the back with people uh, holding the colored round blue thing. We want to give them a gift as a symbol that this will be the beginning of their journey of miracles. Lord, prove to them that they have made the right decision to attend the feast today. May all their dreams come true, Lord, and make a way for them. And for everyone who's gathered here, allow them, Lord, to receive the Easter joy, the Easter hope, because we are your Easter people, and hallelujah is our song. This we all declare in Jesus' name, and everyone will say, Amen. Give the Lord a big hand. We have a gift for you, Mamaya. Do no? Sa mga, yay. Yay. Sabay sabay tayo. One, two, three. Warm, Warm welcome. welcome. 
Hug emoji! <laughs> eh, kaya alam mo, natutuwa ako sa Feast Valle Verde kasi yes. yung mga worship leaders natin, song leaders, if they have nothing to do, they they sing there as a yes. member of the choral. Palakpakan natin si Lord. Amen. Diba? A servant is a servant. Kanina nag, nagkwekwentuhan kami ni ni Brother John Jumampo. What is what is the word leader? It's just a label. All of us are servants. Amen? Amen? So lahat tayo tagapaglingkod kay Lord. So to yes. those who aren't serving yet, yes. please ask around how you can serve. You're being blessed so much. And Lapit the best way, sa- the best stance in serving the Lord is gratitude. Amen. Tulad alimbawa, uh, yung, yung, mga, yung mga pa-seminar natin about finances, I was speaking with Brother John this morning. Upcoming, months from now, I think, there will be a, there will be a seminar about <laughs> the good doctor is uh, covering his face. So, there will be a seminar about to prolong our lives. You like that to happen? Nice. Let's give the Lord a big hand. We will never stop bringing in opportunities for us to make living here like heaven. Siyempre, darating naman tayo sa langit, pero mas magandang mabuhay na rin tayo sa langit ngayon at kailanman. Amen. Diba? Praise God. Smile at the friend next to you and tell that person, it's a heaven to be with you today. It's a heaven to be with you today. Ayan. I just wanna add lang, Daddy O, kasi it's my parang, well, not first time to lead worship, but it's been a it's been a quick minute. Oh, you know? thank you for saying yes. <laughs> it's been a Wait, quick. No, 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 no. You want Erica to lead more worship? No, I just oh I just want to no. My purpose of saying this is because I just want to honor the musicians, the singers, the chorus. Kasi grabe yung basta grabe yung preparations, heart, body, mind, and even talagang physical. We we gather together, nagdi-discord, ganyan. Yeah. Talaga, I just wanna honor them. Para palakpakan naman natin. Of course, with the leadership of our musical director, Simon, and Mark. Of course, Corpus, our daddy, tatay Mark. Yun lang, wala lang. Sobrang nakaka-inspire po sila. Sobrang na-inspire po ako. So, I just wanna say thank you guys. Nakaka-inspire. Tsaka, among, among the people who are here, Para saan pa magaling, magaling kang kumanta? Yes! Ha? Anong gagamitin mo dyan? Saan mo gagamitin niya? Mga bang karaoke bar yes. lang? Yes! Ang gambaan niyo lang? Oh. Why not sing to the Lord? Oh. You're a professional singer? Why, you sing to the world? Why don't you sing for the Lord? And even na, if you're not, I mean, yeah, why not? nakakatuwa kasi hindi niyo man hahalata. Medyo marami kaming mga first time sa front line this day. Yes! But, you know, you sing for God, diba? You sing, your voice is for God. This is for, for, the, for the glory of God. And you don't need to be an expert. So we want you to join us in our music ministry. Please come and approach whoever is there. <laughs> Hannah, ayan, Mark, ganyan. So please join us. We need more warriors for Christ. So Yay. thank you so much. And now... <laughs> okay. Before we give our love offering, I invite you to stand up. Stand up. Can I have a love offering envelope, please? Thank you. Okay. If you could get one from our ushers, para next time, ready-ready ka na. Makaka-emote ka pa, susulatan mo. Kasi seryosong pinagdadasal to ng ating intercessors. Okay? And you worship God, you heard the word, you did not give, hindi kompleto. We have to give to the Lord. Can you raise your love offering envelopes, please? And I want you to close your eyes. I want you to imagine your answered prayers. I'm, I'm claiming already. I have an invitation to teach. So I'm claiming that I will get an item in the mighty name of Jesus. Say this with me, Lord. Oh, one of these days. One of these days. I will be the best giver. I will be the best giver in Bali Verde. Bless me more. Bless me more. So that I can give more. So I can give more. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Let's give the Lord us some coffee later on. Come on. Join us. Worship our God. Let's wait. Come on, dance ministry. Wake up today. Hope we rise. We sing your name. Lift our eyes to the hearts, to your being, where we walk, there you'll be, with fire in our 
your eyes, our lives align. Your love of teeth is blazing out. The streets will glow forever bright. Your glory is breaking through the night. You will never fade away. Shall be world without end. Amen. Amen. See you next Sunday.